Hello everyone, we are back with the Rams franchise, and today we're going to be taking on the Cincinnati Bengals in a primetime game, but before we get to that, we got some things to talk about, including our quarterback situation. So Matthew Stafford, he has been out with a torn labrum, and while he has been out, Josh Rosen has done an excellent job of filling in, in my opinion. He right now has us at 2-0, with two wins over division rivals that both also happened to make the postseason last year and statistically, he's been pretty solid. So Josh Rosen, I believe he has earned the chance to become our starting quarterback moving forward if he has a good game today against the Bengals. On the offensive line, Steve Avila, the rookie out of TCU, he has played extremely well. He has played like one of the best offensive linemen in the entire NFL. He has not allowed a single sack in 123 downs played, and in our win last week over the 49ers, he had five pancake blocks. Hopefully, he keeps on playing well in his rookie season and beyond. The defense, it has been better than what I expected going into the season. Two players that deserve credit for that are John Johnson III and Jordan Fuller, our veteran safety combo that are currently leading the team in tackles. While the defense has been better than I expected, it still has a lot of room to improve, and one area that could really improve is the pass rush. We right now only have two sacks as a team. Let's move on and start talking about this Bengals game, which is of course a Super Bowl rematch where the Rams were able to defeat the Bengals 23-20 in Super Bowl 56. Now this year, the Bengals have gotten off to a rough start, currently sitting at 0-2 with two losses in the AFC North division already to a couple of division rivals. The offense, it has not been the problem, they have gotten off to a good start and have been scoring a ton of points. They are, of course, led by quarterback Joe Burrow. They have a great receiving trio headlined by Jamar Chase. They got Joe Mixon averaging over six yards per carry. So we know this Bengals offense, it is going to put up some points, but it's a matter of how many points will they end up putting up against our defense. The Bengals defense gave up 47 points in week one to the Browns and 37 points in week two to the Ravens. So it has been an awful start to the year for this side of the ball for the Bengals. Now, they do have some positives uh, to look forward to. I mean, can't be any worse, really. And they did rank sixth in the NFL in points per game last year and have a similar group. So I'm sure they're going to bounce back at some point. It is time for us, though, to go ahead and get into this Super Bowl 56 rematch against the Bengals, who will open up with possession. Burrow goes right side to Higgins, and he can't hang on. Witherspoon able to break the pass up. Second and 10. Burrow goes to Chase, and he's just going to drop it. So a quick third down. Burrow looks for Chase again, and he's going to drop it again. It'll be a quick three and out. The Rams take over at their own 40. Akers will get the... Rams down offense started with a gain of five. A fake to Akers. Rosen slides right. He'll go deep down the field on his first pass and connect with Cooper Cup, who is all the way up to the Cincinnati 28. Rosen is going to fire over the middle and hit man Jefferson, who is up to the seven, making it goal to go. Second at goal. A handoff to Akers up the middle. He's at the one, and he'll be turned away from the end zone just barely. Third and goal. Rosen. Flips it out left side to Dagora, who is all alone, and he'll make it into the end zone for a touchdown and get the Rams an early 7-0 lead. An impressive start to the game for this Rams team. They forced a quick three and outs on defense and then drove right down the field on offense and scored a touchdown, taking a 7-0 lead. Joe Mixon with a big gain on a catch there and a first down. Now Irv Smith with a catch on the left side, and he's down just shy of a first. Third and inches, Burrow. He's going to hit Drew Sample on the left side, and he's got a first down to keep the drive going. First and 10 from the 23. Burrow is going to hit Sample again, and he is down just shy of a first, and he's actually injured on the play, but he'll end up returning to this one. Second it's short. Burrow hits Irv Smith, who hangs on through a big hit, and he's going to make it goal to go. First and goal. Burrow. Back to Irv Smith, and this time he'll find his way into the end zone for a touchdown, and we're going to be all tied up at seven in the first quarter. So the Bengals offense with a good bounce back drive. Here is a screen left side to Michael Carter. He'll juke out a defender, pick up a first down and more, and he's up to about midfield. From the 47, the last play of the first quarter is a wheel route. Caught, pass caught by Zach Evans, and he's all the way to the 23 of Cincinnati. A big play by the rookie running back. 
Rosen goes right side, hitting Van Jefferson, who is going to score a touchdown as he burns a linebacker. And he's going to put the Rams back up in front now, 14-7. A great drive again by the Rams' offense. And there's a gain of four on the ground by Mixon to begin this Bengals drive. Now Irv Smith, he'll hang on through another big hit for a first down. Second and 35. Mixon makes a catch, and he splits two defenders and is up to midfield with a first down. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Burrow checking it down to Drew Sample, who is back in the game. And he'll pick up a couple of yards. Third and seven. A pass is caught right side by Irv Smith, who breaks a tackle of Jordan Fuller and somehow stays in bounds and picks up a first down. From the 37 of Los Angeles, it'll be Jamar Chase left side with a gain of 13 and a first down. At the 24, a pass right side to Tyler Boyd. He's hammered down right away. Third down. A pass is caught right side by T. Higgins, who hangs on, and he'll make it goal to go. First and goal. A pass is caught left side by Jamar Chase. Cam Dantzler brings him down right away. Mixon left side on second and goal. He'll pick up a couple of yards. Third down. Burrow to throw. He'll back up, throw right side. It is caught by Jamar Chase, who was wide open in the end zone. And we're going to be all tied up again now at 14. Five minutes to go in the first half. The Rams back on offense. It'll be a catch right side by Tutu Atwell. Third and one. Akers up the middle, and he's brought down right away, but he's got the first down to keep the drive going. Rosen from a clean pocket. He'll spin out left side. He's got nothing open. He'll take off and be smashed out of bounds with a gain of five. He took a big hit, but he'll be all right. A carry for Cam Akers right side, and he'll find a bit of room and find a first down. At the 47, a fake to Evans. Rosen. He's going to lob over the middle. It is caught by Tutu Atwell for a massive gain. He's all the way to the Cincinnati 28. A toss left side to Zach Evans. He's got some good blocking. And he'll pick up seven or six yards on the carry. Third and four. Rosen checks it down to Atwell, who turns up field and is up to the 12 with a first down. Just a minute 20 to go in the first half. Rosen goes left side, hitting Davis Allen, who will pick up four yards on the catch. Second and six, Rosen. He's going to spin out left side, and he's going to try to run this in himself. He'll dive towards the pylon, and yeah, he did not quite get in. First and goal at the one. Evans will break a tackle, and he's going to be still dropped in the backfield even after breaking a tackle. Second and goal. Rosen goes right side. It is dove on and caught by Tyler Johnson for a touchdown, and that's going to give the Rams the lead again here at the end of the first half. And we'll head into halftime of this Super Bowl 56 rematch with the Rams on top of the Bengals, 21-14. to We'll see what happens in the second half. A look around the way get all the scores because we are the Monday night game. You can see that the 49ers were able to defeat the Giants and pick up their first win of the season. But let's get back to our game. Josh Rosen, he had himself another great first half. He went 12-16 for 181 yards and had three passing touchdowns. Remember, he is trying to earn himself this starting quarterback spot for the foreseeable future. He's going to start the second half with a pass to Van Jefferson for a gain of eight yards. Now Michael Carter, he'll get tackled ahead for a first down. From the 36, Rosen checking it down to Van Jefferson, who picks up six yards. Second and four, Cooper Cup makes a catch right side, and he runs over a defender for a first down. From the 47, Michael Carter left side. He'll run past the defender. He's past midfield and into the open field. And I don't think anybody's going to catch him. He's going to take it 53 yards for the touchdown. The former Jet showing off some explosiveness. And he's going to make it 28-14 to in the third quarter. The Bengals will begin their second half with a catch over the middle by Joe Mixon, who picks up nine yards. Third and short. Mixon on the carry. And he'll get the first down. Is up to the... 37, just eight yards so far for Mixon, who came into the game averaging six yards per carry. A catch left side by T. Higgins. He is going to get away from Cam Dantzler and is all the way to the 13. A big play for the Bengals offense as they take it into the red zone just like that. A catch over the middle by Higgins, and he'll dive into the end zone this time for a touchdown as the Bengals march right down the field and make it a one-score game again. 28 to 21 in the third quarter. Here is Cam Akers up the middle, picking up nine or 10. Third and short. 
Akers right side. He's trying to find some room. He's picked up and planted it for the first down. Just barely. A sweep to Cooper Cup, who is met in the backfield. A missed block on the play is going to result in a loss of 10 on a jet sweep. Third and 20. Rosen is going to have his pass bedded down at the line of scrimmage, and the Rams would end up punting it away. So the Bengals a chance to tie this game up. It'll be Jamar Chase left side, picking up a first down up to the 36. Burrow finding a bit of rhythm. He'll move to his left and hit Jamar Chase for another first down. He's up to about midfield. Second and 10. Burrow is going to lob over the middle and hit Joe Mixon, who gets behind Brooks for a big gain. He's all the way to the Rams, 25. Second and 7. Here is Irv Smith, the former Viking, and he's up to the 10 with a first down, making it goal to go pretty much. First and 10, Burrow, right side, hits Irv Smith, who is at the one, and he's going to be turned away from the end zone. Second and short, Burrow goes right side, and there is T. Higgins with another touchdown, his second of the second half, and we're going to be all tied up at 28 in the third quarter. Rosen. Begins this drive going quick right side, and it's going to be jumped and intercepted by Eric Rowe, and he's going to return it for a touchdown, and all of a sudden the Bengals have taken the lead in the third quarter. It'll be a carry for Cam Akers up the middle beginning the next Rams drive with them all of a sudden down by seven in the third quarter. Rosen on second and six. He'll lob deep left side, and Van Jefferson makes a catch, and he's all the way across midfield to the 41 of Cincinnati. A carry for Cam Akers left side as the third quarter is winding down. He'll pick up a couple of yards. Third and seven to start the fourth quarter. Rosen, he'll go deep right side. It is intercepted by Logan Wilson. And he's down near the 35. That was either a bad throw by Josh Rosen or a miscommunication between him and Cooper Cup. Either way, the Bengals pick it off and now have a chance to go up two scores in the fourth quarter. Irv Smith left side, he'll pick up five yards to begin this Cincinnati drive. A fake to Mixon, here is Jamar Chase with a catch over the middle. He's all the way to the Rams, 43 with a first down. Burrow, right back to the air, he'll go right side hitting Joe Mixon who gets a block from Irv Smith and is up to the 28. First and 10, a fake to Mixon, Burrow goes right side and there is Jamar Chase all the way up to the five making it goal to go. First and goal. Burrow is going to check it down to Boyd, who is brought down right away by Trivia Sajas Tomlinson. Third and goal. A quick pass left side is into the ground and incomplete. Bringing up fourth down. The Bengals are going to settle for a field goal. No, it's a fake. And the pass is caught in the end zone by Orlando Brown. A lineman catches a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And the Bengals are going to go up two scores. So this is where we find out what Josh Rosen is made of. He has thrown two interceptions in the second half, including a pick six, and he finds his team down two scores in the fourth quarter. Can he help put something together and get his team right back into this game? He'll go deep over the middle on second down, and there is Van Jefferson making a catch in traffic, and he's up to midfield with a huge game. A throw right side is caught by 2-2 two -two Atwell. He'll pick up six yards on the catch. Third and four, Rosen. Surveying, he'll lob deep right side, and Van Jefferson is going to run underneath of it and make the catch. He's all the way to the 13, putting the Rams into the red zone. Rosen is going to go to the end zone. It is dove on and dropped by Higby. Third and 10 from the 13. Rosen under pressure. He fires to the end zone. It is dropped by Cooper Cup in the end zone this time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Of course, the Rams are going to go for it on fourth and 10. Rosen. Fires to the end zone. It is caught by Cooper Cup this time for a touchdown. And the Rams are going to make this a one-score game again in the fourth quarter. 42-35. to The Rams defense with a chance to get the ball right back to their offense and actually do something. It feels like they've been getting up a lot of big plays and a lot of points now. And here's a big play finally for the Rams defense. Michael Hoyt will get the sack. It'll be a loss of six. Second and 16. Burrow. Is going to hit Joe Mixon on a wheel route. And that wipes out the sack and then some as Mixon is all the way to the Rams 37. Here is a catch over the middle by Irv Smith Jr. He's inside the 20 and down at the 18. First and 10. Mixon gets the carry and he's brought down right away by Hoyt. Second and 10. Burrow. Surveying. 
He'll check it down to Mixon and he's met by Hodges Tomlinson and brought down by Hummel at the 13 as the Rams use their first time out. Third and five, Burrow. Under a bit of pressure, he backs up, and he's just going to fire this one out the back of the end zone, bringing up fourth down. And the Bengals will actually kick the field goal this time and go back up two scores, making it 45-35. to 35. So two and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The Rams need another touchdown drive here, and it'll be Michael Carter beginning the drive with a gain of nine on a screen pass. Third and one, a draw to Carter, and he'll find a bit of room and pick up a first down. He's up to the 40. Second and 10 with under two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It is Cooper Cup making a catch on the left side, and he's out of bounds just shy of midfield. Third down, Rosen, he'll go deep right side, and there is Cooper Cup past midfield. He's all the way to the Cincinnati 21 with a huge gain. Just a minute, 20 to go in the fourth quarter. Rosen is going to go deep right side. It is caught by Higby, who hangs on through some tough contact for a touchdown. And we have ourselves a three-point game here late in the fourth quarter. The Rams are going to go for an onside kick to try and get this ball back. It is going to bounce high up in the air. It is recovered by the Bengals. And now they have a chance to run this one out with just a minute 17 to go in the fourth quarter. Nixon is brought down in the backfield by Harrison, and the Rams are going to use their second timeout. Another carry for Mixon. He'll pick up a couple of yards, and the Rams are going to use their last timeout. So ball game on the line here. Can the Rams' defense get a stop? Burrow, he's going to throw it, and he'll hit Boyd for the first down, and the Bengals are going to seal this one and win this one 45-42 over the Rams, and they will get revenge for their Super Bowl loss. A great game that goes all the way down to the final possession. I thought Josh Rosen played an overall good game. He did throw two interceptions, and sure, they were bad, but he also threw five touchdowns and kept us in a game against a Super Bowl contender in Cincinnati, and you can't expect the offense to score on every drive. The defense, it was a rough game for them. 446 passing yards for Burrow. He was really good all game long. Irv Smith was good. Jamar Chase, he had a drop uh, early, a couple of drops early, but he played pretty well. T. Higgins was good. We did shut down the Bengals' rush offense, and Hoyt, he got a sack, but that was really about it for the defense. It was a bad game for them overall. We got a couple of upgrades here after the game, one for Zach Evans, and we're going to go receiving back. He had a nice catch in today's game. He'll end up getting one to his speed. The only other upgrade we have is for Travis Hodges Tomlinson, and we'll go man-to-man -to, -man to make him a scheme fit. And he's going to end up getting two to his man coverage and one to his tackling. So you can see that Joe Burrow did end up winning AFC Offensive Player of the Week, which was much deserved. But Josh Rosen, he ended up winning NFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he has us right now sitting at 2-1, still in first place in the NFC West. And the offense is rolling underneath of him with us currently in second place in terms of points per game. And he himself is having a great year. So we are going to continue to stick with Josh Rosen as our starting quarterback. And we're going to see how it goes. If he ends up falling off the rails in a couple of weeks, then maybe we make a change. But for now, Josh Rosen is the starting quarterback for the Rams. Van Jefferson, he had a big game today and is now tied for the most receiving yards on the team with Cooper Cup. I did not expect to see that, but a good game for Je Van Jefferson ended up making that happen. The defense, it really struggled against that high-powered Bengals offense. Hopefully that was just a one-time thing, and hopefully the defense bounces back in our next game. I do want to make one change to the starting lineup on defense, and that is to place Jake Hummel on the bench and Malik Harrison into the starting lineup. Now, that doesn't mean really that much because I do like to really rotate everybody on this defense currently as we have it constructed besides pretty much the safeties. They kind of play for the entire game for the most part, but even they get rotated out a little bit, but I did want to make that one small change. Our next game is going to be against the Colts, who are currently sitting at 2-1, and one, and they obviously got Anthony Richardson as their starting quarterback, and Jonathan Taylor at running back, so it should be a very interesting game for the rush defense. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you in the next one.